Well, there are several factors. One is, depending on where you're standing in relation to the different sub-basins, if you stand north in the northwest portion of Anderson, South Carolina, then what will happen is as the rain falls there, it's got to first turn into runoff in order for it to go into Lake Hartwell. If it falls in basically the south side of Anderson, South Carolina, and it's got to turn into runoff, then it flows into Lake Russell. Now what's interesting about the term I used was runoff. Rainfall doesn't equal runoff. One of the other challenges we see right now in drought conditions is that the soil is so dry, the rain that we get flows, hits the ground and goes into the ground because it's very, very dry. We need the ground really to be saturated so then the rain, when it falls, it turns into runoff. And an example of runoff, if we get one inch of runoff at Lake Hartwell at full pool level or at the 660 foot level, it will cause the lake to rise at one foot, one inches from one inch of runoff. Again, not rainfall, but runoff.